All right, um, what I'm doing today is I got the iCom sitting here. I didn't do an unboxing on this radio. Um, I did just get this about a month and a half ago. I've been trying to make some contacts on it and I actually have an antenna on the way because it's been hard to find one of those, even a dipole. So I ended up ordering a, uh, you can see right there, uh, Diawana. I'm not sure how they pronounce it, but it's a CN901. This is supposed to be a, a 2,000 watt meter. Um, it covers from 1.8 to 200 megahertz. And uh, this is the first time I've ever seen one of these in person, and the first time actually unboxing one. Alright, so here we go. We tried an MFJ meter, but we just had bad luck. Um, I'm sure it was just a simple mistake. But Here's an instruction manual. Looks like it comes with a power wire, which is actually really nice. The MFJ did not come with that. I had to purchase one separately. And uh, let's lift this out of the box. Oh boy. There we go. All right, there you go. Empty box. Packing supplies back in here. <clears throat> Set this off to the side. And uh, I'm going to get this out of the bag and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, check this thing out. Really nice. Um, the needles, needles actually look like they're metal. It has uh, a couple different selections here for your power. Um, you can do average or PEP. Let's uh, swing this thing around. Real nice. Look at that. Side bumpers, they come off. So you could do this however you want. Very cool, very cool. Um, we have a, uh, you could do PEP hold, uh, light, it does, I guess this is for those two options. It will probably work, hopefully, without power, in case you didn't have it. Um, measuring power, poorly matched antenna, or disconnecting the output of bridge will operate the meter. Um, basically, you know, follow the instructions. Designed by Japan. Uh, I mean, I am, I'm liking the quality of this. It's, it's very heavy. Um, the connections look really nice. Let's pop the sides off once. See what it looks like without those. Oh my goodness! Oh, really nice and light. It's got some nice feet on the bottom. Sits there really nicely. All right, um, let's get this hooked up. I'm gonna grab my dummy load. I will hook the radio up. Right now I'm just receiving through a uh, antenna that I have outside. I really can't transmit. As you can tell, I have really low signals and I'm on my uh, second preamp. But uh, let's get something hooked up in between here, power this thing up, and see what this thing looks like powered up. All right, we have the ICOM on uh, a lower frequency here. Um, it's going right into the dummy load. Uh, this seems to be working just fine. I did do the SWRs here. Uh, which way is this thing here? All right, so that's good. Um, I do have it. It's on sideband. It is 50% up. I think this is a 100 watt unit, so it should be right around 50. Um, I am on the 200 watt scale here. So I'm just going to test, test, test. So that's about 25 watts right there. Um, we do have a flat SWR, so that's not uh, not going to show that. Um, we right now we have it on. Uh, it's pushed in, so that's PEP. So let's see what average says. Okay, check that out. Right there now. Um, we'll have to go to a lower scale. Okay, we are on the 20 watt scale right now, and average wattage output is um, about 4 or 5 watts with this radio turned up halfway. Whether that's actually right or not, I'm not quite sure. Um, I do have the mic gain down turned down pretty low. So, um, let's just... Uh, Let's try this out one other way here yet. 
All right, you have your switches for your light right here, off and on, and then you have PEP hold right here for the meter. So let's turn this around. This is what we got without a light. That's what we got with a light. Nice bright LED. All right, I'm going to turn on the meter hold. Okay, one, two, one, two. And uh, I guess, uh, let's see here. One, two, one, two. Full scale. All right, now we're on to the 200 watt. One, two, one, two, one, two. So it's holding my PEP at uh, 40 watts there on sideband. I mean, really nicely made meter here. Um, let's try some other frequencies right here. Um, let's go. Let's go 10 meter, and uh, let's see what this does. See if we still have still flat SWRs. That is working perfectly. Um, doo -doo -doo. Still on the 200 watt. So, hello, hello. One, two, one, two. Hello, hello. So, that's 20. Um, average wattage. Uh, audio. Hello, one, two, one, two. So, it's down around five. It's probably kind of hard to see with that light on. So, let's try this right here. Hello, one, two, one, two. Hello, one, two, one, two. And then let's turn that on. Hello, one, two, one, two. Working perfectly. And that was 28. Um, let's see here. Let's try 6 meter. And uh, let's turn off our hold. All right. Let's check our SWRs. Still good. This is uh, pretty good as far as power and frequency, 1 to 650 megahertz. All right. So now we're up at 6. Um, I'm not sure what it's going to put out, so I'm just going to try the uh, PEP on the 20. Right, let's bury in that one. It's actually on AM. So hello one two one two there we go uh, that's 30 watts am on um, up there on six meter here's F, here's FM let's just try FM right now we have a 45 watt carrier and uh, the radio is modulating you can see there on the scope and just upper side band hello one two one two like I said, I have this radio. Um, it's set uh, actually up here. We're we're uh, RF powers the whole way up on sideband. I think you could change this. Uh, yep, the whole way. I thought I had this turned down. I guess that's. I guess it changes by band. Um, I never really. I, I'm still trying to um, get a yep reference to how this. Uh, is see we're 50 on there so this is still new to me I'm figuring that out um, like I said I really like this meter so far no problems let's run this thing a little while and see what happens